Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISDQB Specialist Automotive Tester Certification. We are in chapter 4 talking about the segment 2 that is dynamic test techniques and uh, as a part of this tutorial we are covering 4.2.4 that is requirement based testing as one of the techniques for dynamic testing. If you remember from foundation, we have already covered this approach, uh, talking about like working with preparing of the test cases from the requirements. And definitely we do have the entire process as fundamental test process, uh, which we have covered in foundation. So you don't really have to put a lot of effort here and it is at K1 level uh, from the syllabus point of view. So you just need to recall your learning from the foundation level that what exactly test processes and definitely uh, how do we derive our test cases from requirements and what is the approach and at any point of time if you think your test cases are uh, insufficient uh, and needs more uh, revisions or probably adding more test cases will add more coverage to your executions then look forward to that and add more value to it so yes requirement based testing generally deals with deriving test cases from requirement and covering the requirement so requirement based testing is basically an approach or a practice for testing and less a test design technique. So it's definitely an approach. Uh, techniques we talk about EPBV and all those things. So the approach aims at covering the requirement with test cases. Therefore the tester decides whether the test item meets the requirements or not. In this approach, the tester analyzes the requirements, derive the test conditions, design test cases and execute them. It, exactly the same what we have covered in foundation and the previous certifications so all of you are foundation level certified you know better what exactly we are talking about based on the analysis of the test result he refines the test in doing so he can also create further test cases if there is a need to create some more test cases in order to have a better coverage or have a better confidence on the requirements in addition, the tester applies further test practices like experience-based technique, which are informal approaches in order to add more value to testing or find different defects than the formal techniques can find. Therefore, a tester can reduce the risk of defects, for example, by regression test in form of exploratory testing. If the requirements are incomplete or inconsistent at any point of time, the test designed on that basis suffer from the same problems. So on the other hand, the tester may not be able to test all the requirements if they are very detailed because not everything can be definitely covered at the same time. So recall your principle number two, that is exhaustive testing is impossible. So of course, when the requirements are very detailed, that means like every minute thing needs to be covered and not everything can be actually covered at any point of time when you have strict deadlines to deliver a product to the market. So here, a prioritization could be used in order to prioritize the mandatory test cases much earlier in the life cycle, and the least one will definitely be executed probably later, or maybe if time permits, you execute them for sure. Well, so that's just a small topic at the K1 level to talk about what is requirement-based testing, and definitely just to make sure that the test cases covers them uh, in, you know, in form of executing the test cases like dynamically. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to answer your queries and re respond to them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.